I was kind of disappointed in uh, Tales of Shelia, but I didn't uh, play it all the way through. So, that's on me. Um, I like Tales of Symphonia, from what I've seen. Or... You played the whole thing with it. Yeah, it's got potential. How can you <laughs> say that? You loved that game. I, I did love that game, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Skies of Arcadia, another great game. Legend of Dragoon, fantastic oh, yeah. game. Legend of Dragoon. Uh, it's like when somebody asks you what your favorite song is, though, you suddenly forget every song you've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dark Cloud, Dark Cloud 2, Dan brought that up. Those are both fantastic if you like dungeon crawlers. Ooh, ooh, Star Ocean, Till the End of Time. Fuck that game. <laughs> That's a dolphin game, right? <laughs> Echo the Dolphin, but right. we're bringing up terrible games. Grandia 2 was a great RPG. Grandia 2 was a great. Uh, I just got Vagrant Story I haven't played, but I'm excited to uh, give that a whirl. We just we got Wild Arms, too, we haven't played. How am I so good at infiltrating this cave, but so bad at leaving it? Like, like I I got through it really fast this time. <laughs> uh, Legend Again. of Mana... Uh, Secret of Mana. Secret of People Mana. always say Secret of Mana, but I played Legend more as a kid, and I like it better. I never played Legend, Which, but... it's definitely the lowest rated out of all three of those games. So, I'm, I'm the odd man out. You know. Uh, ooh, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Baldur's Gate yeah. Dragon Age. Uh, Origins way more than two. Oh, don't make that noise. <laughs> You were, the guy you were enjoying it when I was playing series. it the other day, Elder Scrolls are amazing. I, I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. I uh, will always maintain that Oblivion's better than Skyrim, though. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think so. I think so. I like the look of Oblivion more. Skyrim has better combat and a better interface, but Oblivion has better content. I, I didn't care for it. Oblivion first. But my order would go Morrowind, Skyrim, then Oblivion, and then the rest. Morrowind, like, exactly, yeah, Morrowind for me, I, I still like Morrowind better than Skyrim, but Oblivion comes first. Morrowind takes a bit of a commitment, mm -hmm. like, to play. It hasn't aged as well, no, but, uh, no. and, and it has a difficulty curve. I like, ruined more than Skyrim yours. for myself. Like, I can't play that game without maxing out my enchanting smithing and Oh. See, I never smithed a thing in Skyrim. So I did this playthrough of Skyrim once because I play games like, well, with Skyrim I have like 13 playthroughs, which doesn't even touch my Fallout playthroughs. I have one on Oblivion or on uh, Skyrim. But with one of them, I uh, did no fast traveling, which was a real bitch. Uh, I ate three times a day, and I kept this little uh, like notebook and like. Every day, like my, I, they would sleep. They have a regular sleep schedule, and I would keep track of everything that my character did. So, uh, <laughs> that was pretty fun, actually. But it was really time-consuming. You know, I'm sure it exists, but I would love to play a Skyrim mod that, like, you have like a hunger bar. Yeah, like uh, New Vegas, you can uh, play with a uh, hardcore mode where you get food and hunger. Like again, hunger I'm super sure it exists. I just I don't play Skyrim on the PC and mods on the Xbox. I don't think exists. See, uh, I uh, I told you guys this, but the first time I played through Skyrim, I sided with the Imperials, and Amen. I did half of the Imperials quest. And uh, then I, uh, I ended up just doing the main story. And you get to the point where you have to bring General Tullius and Ulfric Stormcloak to High Hrothgar for a peace talk. And uh, I uh, went to Windhelm and uh, to go get Ulfric. Because General Tullius was like, yeah, bro, I be there. Because, you know, woo, I... Uh, was already doing stuff for him as uh, an Imperial. And Ulfric Stormcloak is just a douchebag, I'm sorry. But uh, I uh, I get to Windhelm, and as soon as I walk into town, the guards attack me. They just attack me, they didn't even have dialogue first. They attack me, I kill them, but they just keep coming, so I just, I'm like, fuck it. I go into uh, Ulfric's uh, 
what would the term be? Bed chamber? Yeah, well, yes, I ended up in his bed chamber, <laughs> but the, room? the name of the building! Uh, palace? Yeah, sure. I go to Ulfric's palace, the palace of kings or whatever it's called, and, uh, you know, I go upstairs, Ulfric is sleeping in his bed. I, like, of course, poke him awake, and I'm like, hey, Ulfric, peace talk. He gets up, he gets out of bed, he, like, brushes himself off, he looks right at me, and he goes, Foos! And it cuts to third person. I go rocketing across <laughs> the room. And I'm like, oh, I guess he really does have the shout first. I'm like, oh, that's cute that they actually have that in his character. And second, I'm like, how am I supposed to talk to him to get to come to a peace talk if all he's going to do is attack? Well, start shouting back. <laughs> yeah, so so I, I knock him unconscious. I flee. I, uh, I, uh, get outside. I'm like, whatever. I, uh... I hoof it until I am uh, out of the range of the guard so I can, like, fast travel and wait. But he, uh, he's following me. I look at my map and, like, the marker for my quest is right on Ulfric. And it says, uh, you know, I have to go talk to him and get him to come to the peace talk. But he's fucking following me. I fast travel to Markarth on the other side of the map. You know, the Waterfall City. I check my map. He is halfway between Windhelm and Markarth. He is, like, trudging through the mountains to come and fucking find me. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had to fast travel around to, like, a dozen different places until See, he got bored and went home. This proves one thing to me. Ulfric Stormcloak is a fucking badass. It's, he's right? not a bad. He's not a dickhead. He's a bastard. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're a Stormcloak, too, right? Yes, I'm a Stormcloak. Fucking cloak. milk drinkers. That's all I was thinking the whole time. Like... <laughs> Hey, okay, Casey. No, listen, bump my quiet, imperial fist. You, imperial you, fist. Your imperial fist can go suck a dick, right? Because <laughs> Ulfric Stormcloak was tired as shit. Okay, and instead of having someone else do his dirty work, he fucking did it himself. Just like when Casey the plebe tried to piss him off, he didn't send fifty guards after him. I didn't try to piss him off. I said, instead, "Hey, let's go talk peace." Instead, he's like, "You know what? Fuck that guy. I'm gonna chase him throughout the world." Fucking crosses the countryside. <laughs> I have a war to lead right now, but you know what? <laughs> Fuck that guy. I just don't like the whole Star Wars <laughs> prequel trilogy, you are the chosen one uh, bullshit yeah. that, like, is going on for that whole game. <laughs> I just, oh, the Dragonborn's here. Like, fuck you. <laughs> you don't know who I am. I've never been to this town before. <laughs> Legends don't burn down villages. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who did, uh, here's a little unrelated, well, kind of related tidbit, but the guy who did his voice was uh, also one of the people from 13th Warrior with uh, Antonio Banderas. I think that's also part of the reason I like the Imperials is because, uh, uh, General Tullius is Saul from Battlestar Galactica. Okay. Yeah. Still a oh. Stormcloak. No! General Tullius could kick Ulfric Stormcloak's ass. I'm sorry. No, he could right. not. Yes, right. he could. He Tullius is an old ass. General Tullius is a leader of fucking, fucking men. He yeah. is like General Tullius is the barest in the fucking bold of that game. And he fucking fed it out with the leader of hey, warriors. Hey, uh, I don't mean to interrupt. Where am I going? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyways. Look on your map. Wait, look on your map real quick. I'll tell you where oh, you're going. Oh, that's right. I have one of those. Hang on. Uh... Um, Just because he can lead men doesn't mean he can fight. Ulfric would beat his ass. Right? Oh, oh. Okay, okay. Okay, uh... <laughs> I believe... But that's really, it doesn't really matter whose side uh, soldiers are going to this town. Are better oh, because uh, what you uh, am, I going, which side, am I going? Am I going east? Go west, and it'll come here. You want to go to? Uh, yeah, you want. I'm get gonna there. sleep at this town and recharge my spells, and then I'm gonna do that. I can't go west from here, uh, or maybe I can. Let me. Uh, yeah, you can. But there's no real way of telling whose soldiers are better because no matter what, the dragonborn does all the fighting in the war. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Switch the Stormcloaks would probably lose if the Dragonborn wasn't on their side. Right. But that's just because they're a rebellion, I mean. Right. And they're illiterate barbarians. <laughs> they're warrior poets. Illiterate barbarians that'll put an axe through your skull. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, how many Vikings are left, Dan? <laughs> who did hey, better, the oh, Vikings hey. or, or the Roman Empire? Hey, who did better, the Vikings or everyone they killed? <laughs> they didn't kill the Roman Empire. No, they didn't. They the Roman, Roman Empire burnt had down like Rome twice. Six hundred years more to develop. They burnt down Rome twice. The the Germanics, <laughs> not the Vikings. Yeah, the Germanics they're, they're became still. the Vikings. Oh, 
I maintain that the Imperials were the better people. No. Yeah. Dude, it is. Comment, comment in the comments whose side you are it on. It clearly establishes that, like, to save himself, Ulfric Stormcloak sold secrets to the Thalmor. He's a traitor. No. He is a false figurehead. Every single leader in there is a traitor. Right? The Imperials all decided, oh, let's just be bitches and let the, the Thalmor do whatever the hell they want to us. And live like that. No, we ain't gonna live like that. We're gonna do whatever the fuck we want. Right, it's better to die free than to live as a slave to elves. <laughs> that's what, about, what about dwarves? That's a different story. I did not know we were that split on this decision. I knew I Casey didn't, know didn't like him because of the fact that he chased him across the earth. <laughs> I had to like and reload a, a save. Problem. I had to like hey reload guys, a save file. Ever notice that. how this conversation has nothing to do with Final Fantasy? <laughs> He's like, I had no problem with the guy morally, but the motherfucker chased me across the map, <laughs> and it wouldn't even let me kill him. That's a douchebag part. He can kill me, but I can't kill him. Bullshit. Yeah. The, uh, the, yeah, you gotta go south to get past this uh, this lane. Oh no, you're already. Am I the, am I not uh, where I need to be? Cause uh, oh come on, well, go to the goddamn map. That's what I'm trying to do. These buttons are. Bullshit. You gotta press select, not start. Okay, you gotta press. No, start. no, don't let, yeah, don't yeah. let me lie to you. Yeah, yeah, this is where I want to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and yeah. I'm going to the yellow dot directly west of here. We're going to the village. Yeah, cool. Well, to the not village. directly west. No. Okay, We're I guess going to have to, uh, my options are limited. Go to the port that's south of here. Oh. oh. All right, let's get into a less heated debate about Skyrim. All right, yeah, me and Chris are right. Of no, course. you're not. I mean, you know. This port? Sorry, we're men. Is this yeah, the port? That. Yeah, go that one. Try that. Fucking what uncivilized is... barbarians. <laughs> right. That's a good thing. No, no it isn't. <laughs>